Hi everyone, this is Juliana here to give you your Taco Tuesday devotion. And the passage I chose for today is Hebrews 10, 23 to 25. So I'm going to read it first. It would be great if you get out your Bibles, otherwise I'll have it here. I'm going to read it. Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. So I use the inductive Bible study method to break down this passage. So the first step is observation. So the text says, which is what does the text say? The text says in verse 23 to hold on to our faith because it's what gives us hope. Then in verse 24, it says we need to encourage each other, stir up each other or spur on each other to good works and love. And then verse 25, it says don't ne neglect to meet together, but encourage one another. All the more as you see the day, which is the day of Christ's return coming near. So the next step in the inductive Bible study process is interpretation, which is what does the text mean? So I did some background research on Hebrews. The author of Hebrews is unknown, but it was probably written to Jewish and Gentile Christians. And it was written to um, sustain and preserve the people's faith and encourage them not to turn away, but to hold fast to their faith. So the text meant for them to not stop meeting together. It seems that some of the people that this letter was written to had stopped meeting to talk about the faith. So to, or the author of Hebrews was saying, encouraging them not to do that. It was also saying that we need to encourage each other to love and do good works, and just in general, encourage each other in faith. But then we move on to the third and final step of the inductive Bible study, which is application. What does this text mean to me and to us? Well, I think it means that, first of all, like verse 23 says, we need to remember the reason for our hope. We can have hope during these challenging times because we have God. And so we need to hold on to our faith. Then in verse 24, it says, consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. So we need to check in on with each other, stirring each other up or encouraging one another on love and serving and good works. And then finally in verse 25, it says not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some. Well, we have neglected to meet together, not neglected, but we have stopped meeting together for our safety. But we can still apply this passage to our life by meeting virtually over Zoom or a phone call. Um, so yeah, and then at the end it says, but encouraging one another. So I think it's clear that we need to be encouraging each other in our faith. So I just have a few practical ideas for how to live out this verse. Come to the Fusion Zooms on Monday and Thursday and come to Wednesday Night Live small groups. Those are great ways to connect with Fusion and connect with church, even when we can't meet at the building. Also check in with friends and others in your small group. See how they're doing and how their family life is going at home. And finally, check in with your other Christian friends. We need to stay connected. This verse clearly says that our faith is not something for us to do alone, but something for us to share with others and talk about with others, encouraging each other. So encourage your friends, check in with them, see how they're doing, because we have to stay connected. 